Got some past exam questions here for year 13 polymerization. So if you want to have a go at these, the link to the questions is in the description. So just click on the link, download the questions, and then play the video for the answers. Okay, so question one, chemist synthesizes this polymer here. So I've broken it up into its two parts. We've got this bit here. So that's going to come from a dicarboxylic acid. And this part here is going to come from a diol. It's created this ester linkage when they've joined together. So to create the, the orange part, we'd need this monomer here. And to create this green part, we'd need this monomer here. So only two and three would actually create this polymer. So the answer was C. I'll just explain quickly what's wrong with monomer one. You've got a carboxylic acid group at one end and you've got an OH group at the other end. It could polymerize. The problem with making this polymer is you wouldn't have that O there. See, there's no O there, so that one wouldn't work. Question two is about addition polymerization. So we've got this monomer here, phenyl ethene, and we're going to turn it into polyphenyl ethene by addition polymerization. So my teacher's top tip, and I've continued it um, in my teaching career, make your addition polymer monomer look like ethene. So hopefully you can appreciate what I'm getting at there. So C6H5 is obviously this benzene ring here. The rest of it's just like ethene. Um, once you've got that, it's very, very simple to create the polymer chain from that. So all you do is break the double bond. So you've got a single bond between the carbons and put your end bonds either side. And obviously for it to be an equation, we need the N in front of the, the monomer and the N outside that bracket for the polymer. Next part, waste polymers are often put into landfill sites. State one way of processing waste polymers usefully rather than landfill or recycling. So the, I suppose the key word there is usefully. So what I've gone for, there's two possible answers I've come up with. Uh, you could recover the energy from incineration or you could use the, um, you could turn it back into the monomer and you could actually use it as a chemical feedstock. Question three, we've got um, compound M, which can actually undergo both addition and condensation polymerization. So the first part of the question is draw the repeat unit of the addition polymer. So that's when this carbon-carbon double bond is going to break open. So again, you know, think of it like ethene. So there's your two carbons, um, hydrogen there and there, carboxylic acid group, and then this aromatic group here. So all I've done is broken the double bond, put the end bonds on, and then everything else back in place. Now the only thing to be careful of here is the position of your OH group on your benzene ring. So you can see it's one, two carbons away from that one. So we need to make sure that it's the right number of carbons away in your um, repeat unit. In terms of condensation polymer, so that's where we're going to take the functional groups at the end of the chain. So to create, this is obviously going to create the polyester. So we can take the OH off um, this hydroxyl group here and the H off the, um, the OH of the carboxylic acid group. You could do it the other way around, by the way, just take the H and the OH, but I've gone for the way I, I've done there. So that would generate this. Obviously, if we lose that OH group, we've got that bond there with nothing on. And we've got an O there, single bonded O, and then a, a sort of bond. It can make another bond. So we just have two of those side by side, basically, and you get that. So the way the marks work for that one is you get a mark for your correct ester link and the rest of the structure is correct. Question four. A section of a condensation polymer is shown below. Um, in the box draw the structures of the two monomers that could form this polymer. So you can see I've used colour again. So this, these green bits here, you can see they're the same. That would have been, in, in the monomer form, it would have been a dicarboxylic acid. So we just turn these CO groups, these are the CO groups in question, just turn them into carboxylic acids. And they're, they're the same as well. So that's going to be a diamine. And so we've got NH2 groups at the ends. Next part of the question, name the type of condensation polymer and give a use for it. Well, there's two types of uh, condensation polymer, 
polyester obviously contains the ester group polyamide contains the amide group well you can see we've got the CONH group so it's a polyamide and the use for this type of polymer well fibers for clothing is what I would say so things like nylon is made from polyamides Question five is about lactic acid. So we've got to use the UPAC rules to come up with a systematic name for lactic acid. Longest continuous chain is three, so it's propanoic acid. And we've got this OH group on carbon two, so it's two hydroxy propanoic acid. Next part, quite tricky to visualize this one, and it does catch students out when, I, when I've used this question in the past. Um, so we're told that when heated strongly, lactic acid forms a cyclic diester. So cyclic just means a ring, diester just means two ester groups. So what I've done is I've taken, um, I've just copied and pasted the lactic acid structure, two of them. This one here I've flipped round and annoyingly the carbons are all the wrong way around, but hopefully you'll, you'll get the idea of what I'm, I'm trying to explain here. So I've positioned the carboxylic acid group of the bottom um, structure alongside the um, alcohol group of the top structure and sort of vice versa here. So we've got the carboxylic acid group of the top structure next to the alcohol group of the um, bottom structure. And hopefully we remember that these two functional groups can combine to form an ester group. So we're gonna get two ester groups this way. These orange sort of um, splodges are just to say that the water's gonna come out here and here. So then I'm joining the two bits, the organic bits together, and I've created this structure here. So I'm trying to use the high, that carbon there, is that one. So you can see you've got an H off there and a CH3, H and CH3. And you've got the ester bond formed, okay? And then to that green carbon there, and it just sort of repeats around to form the um, ring. Next part of the question, polylactic acid PLA is used to make dissolvable stitches for holding wounds together. It breaks down into smaller molecules after one or two weeks. Draw the structure of one repeat unit in PLA. Now again, it's if you think about that, that's the structure that was given. All I've done is I've redrawn this carbon here so that the OH, the alcohol group, sticks out at one side and obviously the carboxylic acid group was already sticking out on the right hand side. So I've just reconfigured the groups around this carbon. And then you can see what I've done, hopefully. I've just sort of um, highlighted out the OH and the H to make a water molecule, which is what will happen when this combines to form the condensation polymer. So the way I've done it, that would be my repeat unit. Like before, I could have, I could have just taken the H off there, which would have meant I would have had an O there, um, and I would have needed to therefore take the OH group off here. So I would have just had the, the, that bond ending there rather than going to the O. And then the next part, explain how PLA breaks down and why the stitches dissolve. So there's kind of two questions there. So explain how it breaks down. I'm coding in orange there. So PLA, the reason it breaks down is because it contains an ester linkage, or you could say because it's a polyester and these groups can be hydrolyzed. So esters can be hydrolyzed, broken down by reaction with water. That would create, it would actually recreate the lactic acid molecule, which I've drawn there. And then lactic acid, because of the functional groups in it, it can hydrogen bond with water, and so it can dissolve. 